Well, I found out Monster Hunter for you is not all just poogies and roses. There are evil things in this game. Welcome back, Classy Crew, to another Monster Hunter for you journal. I believe we are at journal three now, although the first two were kind of the same. I'm finally on the caravan that is journeying. We've left the original town. We've arrived in a new town called Hearth. I've discovered an entire new race of creatures. Can we? Uh, called the Trovarians, which, where have they been this whole time? Why aren't they in Rise? Why aren't they in World? Why aren't they in 3U? Is this the only game they appear in? I'm shocked that I've been playing in this universe for two years now, and I've never once met a Trovarian until this past week. So I'm happy to see that this world is a little bit more diverse. It's not just humans and Wyvarians, but now we've got Trovarians. I think that's how you pronounce it. So instead, let's start where the stream started. I actually started with some multiplayer. First time trying multiplayer, it was a little bit difficult to figure out at first just because it was so different. But once I got it working, it was nice and easy. Uh, we got some, um, our first multiplayer crew. I don't quite remember the names, but they're probably on screen. And the first thing I learned is the mounting in multiplayer really is not efficient. As soon as someone mounts, you accidentally knock them off and it just ruins the whole mounting procedure. So that adds a whole other level of stress to mounting and especially, I mean, to multiplayer. And everybody was telling me, Jay, you're not listening to the etiquette. It's supposed to be, you don't touch people when they're mounted. And I was like, Wait, does it actually do damage when you mount it? <laughs> and it's so hard, like as a charge blade, I'm swinging my ax around. Oh, you mounted while I was mid swing? you're gonna get knocked off. It's just what's happening. So it's unfortunate. That is the one thing that's a bit of a downside, but otherwise multiplayer was really smooth, was way smoother than 3U's multiplayer ever been. I think I can compare 4U's multiplayer to 3U to be fair. I'm not gonna compare it to the new ones, but literally go online. People found me before I even did anything. They're like, yeah, your room is called Hey J. It's based on your player name. I'm like, awesome. Super easy to do. I love it. And the new monster of the week was a Kechawacha, which this thing, now this, is a funny monkey. You want to talk about funny monkey? Get rid of that angry one. This is a funny monkey. He's got an elephant trunk for a nose. I love his mechanic of and the level that they designed. I'm pretty sure they designed him for this specific level where there's two stages and he hangs from the vines and you have to like go and slap his fingers or and he can either attack from the top or the bottom. Super fun fight. He's really cute when he puts his like ears on his on his eyes i guess i don't know his skin flaps and it was just a fun fight and like when you're up above the vines and you're running this happened in multiplayer and he pops his head out he's got such a doofus looking face you just want to i don't want to hit it but i want to slap it because it's like you're such a dopey face and then when he's dead it's sad because his face is still dopey but he's dead and you're like oh no i've just taken the life i i've never felt so conscious about taking the life even if it's an artificial like you know, creature in a fantasy video game. I don't care. I felt more connected to this Ketchawacha because there was so much soul in the face to see it there with its eyes closed. I'm like, oh no, what have I done? Kind of sad looking when he's dead. Look at that face. We just murdered. We just committed murder to something with such a human looking face. So once the Ketchawacha was done, the caravan decided we were good to move on to the volcano. We have to go to the volcano so we can build an airship so we can keep finding out uh, more information on the stone that I'm going to call him Jojo. The caravan, caravan, caravan. Yeah, I'm calling him Jojo. And so here we are. We've arrived at Hearth at the base of the volcano, aka Depressed Town, because all the Trevarians here were freaking depressed. Nobody wanted to talk to me except the dwarves daughter. I think the dwarf master's daughter. And she had a very familiar outfit. And everyone said it's I'd have to look at it again. I haven't looked at it since, but I was like, oh, why do these armor like the Trovarian's outfit look so familiar? And everyone's like, you don't recognize it from the Sunbreak lady, maybe? And so, yeah, the the blacksmith in Sunbreak, I think, wears the same armor as either the daughter or all the Trovarians. I don't quite know exactly. I'd have to pull up the images, but I'm pretty sure it's the same outfit. I am looking at her outfit. What about it? So we arrive there. The Trevarians are mad because uh, there's a monster, aka a, t a Tetsukabra, in the in the mines, and they can't mine anymore. And when a dwarf can't mine, they get depressed. And also, apparently, the lava has stopped flowing, which is a whole other problem to deal with later. So I was excited because I I know the Tetsukabra from Rise in the guild uh, hub, and I've I, I don't know what it is with frogs, but I love frogs. I love the Tetsukabra design. I was like, oh yes, I want to go fight this boy. Let's go. 
I was so excited. He jumped. He has the sumo oh. thing. I love his design, like his tusk. Everything about this, his design I love, his fight I love, his armor I love so much. He's got like a freaking samurai armor uh, helmet looking thing. The, the shoulder pads, I don't care so much about. It kind of looks like a... A football player shoulder pad but man that helmet is awesome in fact after in my second stream where i just did multiplayer i uh we grinded out that helmet and the chest piece and i had to re i'll tell you later what i got but i had to replace the armor i had because it was ugly so anyways we've got some sexy armor now i've gotten to finally fight a tetsukabra which made me so freaking happy and i got to discover a new locale called the sunken hollow i really really love the design of this and it it shocks me that they didn't do a level like this or even just brought this one back for Rise Sunbreak. Uh, the Sunken Hollow, you start at the top of the level and every time you pretty much transition scenes, you're jumping further and further into this thing. I think it's a volcano, I, I'm not sure. But the level is so vertical. It, it's like, why didn't you put this in a game where verticality is king, Rise and Sunbreak? You're wire bugging everywhere. So I don't, I don't know what they were thinking, but I'm really liking how much verticality they, they've added to this game. It's clear that they were really trying to give you a lot more uh, opportunities to mount on monsters. There's so many ledges everywhere. I love, this is what I, I love the little hop and you go on the mount. I love that so much more than wire bugging or hitting a monster and then it's all dazed and you got like white things saying, yeah, mount me. It's just the satisfaction. There's something to be said about, I think I can mount him, hop, hit, you mount versus you're fighting and spamming and all of a sudden, oh, I can get on him and bang him into a wall. That's just not as satisfying. Please, I really hope in the next Monster Hunter we get back to mounting and stabbing. I love mounting and stabbing repeatedly on a monster. Call me a psychopath, but man, I love it. So then uh, we, we, I killed this uh, Tetsukabra, discovered the Sunken Hollow, fantastic place. And then the Ace team has arrived. Now, I'm not quite sure why the Ace team has showed up, but I got to meet all four. Uh, there's, the, there's the Ace Cadet, which is Aiden. There is the Ace uh, Gunner, which is Best Waifu. There is Ace, a new one who was not in the film, this other Ace who used to be part of the caravan, who was like JoJo's BFF. He's there, and then there's the Ace Hole. <laughs> the ace jerk who's, who's who looks like an anime uh, side character like the Vegeta of the group he's I don't I don't know what what's wrong with him even all the other characters are like yeah he's, he's grumpy he's gonna yell at you so I think they're there to investigate why the lava stopped flowing which I suspect there's a pretty big monster probably hanging out in the volcano that we're gonna have to kill that's causing like this sounds very familiar to the Laga Cruz problem we had in 3U uh, causing the earthquakes or the Cetus I think I think that's what's happening here with the lava flow. So anyways, uh, we also have to build the ship. And to build the ship, we needed to hunt a Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Ross. I still don't know how to pronounce it, as you know. And uh, I went to fight this thing, and this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It is a terrible monster. What the heck was Capcom thinking? They put so much garbage into this monster's mechanic. First of all, it flashes you. Haven't had that in a, happen to me in a while. It has poison, which is always a good time. It has a wiggly tail. It's got a tail that can stretch and whip. So it's really misleading how far that tail can go because it can reach a lot further than you might expect. And then it's probably got the most unique BS move I've ever seen. And I still don't quite understand what it's doing. I think it fakes dying or it fakes going to sleep. I thought it was fake sleeping, but when I watched the clip again, it fake died on me and I thought it slept. So I put a, uh, a barrel bomb next to its head and I was gonna wake it up. And when I did, I lost almost all my life. I almost carted. And the whole chat was laughing. He's like, oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. And they're laughing. And they're probably still laughing to this day. I don't know what happened. I, I, I thought Classy put him to sleep. And they're like, does Classy have sleep on his weapon? I'm like, no, of course he doesn't. But I don't know. Something's happening I don't understand. I've never seen a monster fake fake out dying. Why, why is that unique in For You? Why is that present nowhere else? Anyways, I almost had a second cart from that. I almost died. Before that, I got a, uh, a cart from this thing Wombo Combo me. Look at my health in the clip. How old you better be showing the clip here? Because my health was at like 50%. I had just finished healing. And he just came at me. And he just poisoned. And then he slapped me, slapped me. And then I tried to get out. And then he came and slapped me again and carted me. Freaking low rank village garbage gypsy rose destroyed me. 
and I had some decent armor. So I don't know what, what to say other than bullshit monster. I hate this thing. And to make it worse, of course, I can carve out of all the monsters, I can carve, I can create this monster's armor set, which is the worst armor set I've ever seen. The helmet's ugly. Look at this chess piece. Look how big and round I am. It's, it doesn't match with anything. I hate it, which is why I needed to make another stream to get the Tetsukabra armor. I'm like, friends, come on, like classy crew, let's go. I need you to take me out of this unclassy armor piece. Let's get the Tetsukabra. And we did. And I look good now and everything is okay. So next up, I've got some capturing to do. They're introducing the capture mechanic in the game. So I'm going to do that. And I have to hunt a, a Gendrome. Gendrome is the next new monster on the list. There's no other monsters uh, that have been added. I finished all of one star quests. They're all done. All the two star quests. They're all done. All the check marks. So now I'm working my way through three star. And uh, we're going to go see what's clogging up the volcano. So join me on stream next time as I see what's going on in that volcano with the ace crew. And maybe we'll build an, air an airship. I don't know how far I am from that. Otherwise, until the next journal or the next stream, keep it classy.